Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another Card Fight Vanguard Overdress, Awakening of Chakrabarthi, Booster Pack Opening. Picked up some more sneak preview packs to open for you all today, so I figured I'd try my luck and see if I can get some more of the triple rares I want from the set after the last kit opening. I actually didn't pull all the triple rares because there's an increased amount in this set, 15 in total instead of the normal 10. It's definitely a lot more difficult to pull the triple rares you want. So with the uh, allotted amount of packs I have here, I believe it's about 38 packs. We'll see if I can at least pull any better. So let's see how I do. It might be 37 packs now that I think about it. Our first rare is Ruse Wildmaster Riley and Sylvan Horn Beast Alvin. So starting off with no hollow in the first pack, Hopefully that doesn't mean bad luck for the rest of the packs because you should have some pretty high uh, foil ratios uh, with any packs from Overdress. We have Helheim, Fervent Rage, and Sealed Blaze Dragon, Adarla, for our first double rare. Very good grade three for the arms deck. Next pack. We have Fine Drink of Abolishment for Sins. And Twin Bullet of Dust Storm Travis for the, I'm, I'm guessing it's for the Eugene deck. It's pretty generic, but it works around, you know, retiring units, which is what Eugene is known for. Next pack. And most of you have seen a lot of the commons, so that's why I'm just quickly going to the uh, rare and the triple rare, which is Brainwash a Swirler for Barrel Magnus. Each triple rare uh, also belongs to one of these specific decks. I think for Dragon Empire, they just gave two for Overdress and one for Arms. We have Emma Lariat, Connector, and Ru Rough Trample Monster for the rares. But yeah, hopefully I can pull one of the Nirvana Grade 4 from these packs. They didn't pull one from the last one, but we have Strong Sharp Dragon, Geesefort, for our first of the Hollow Rares. I think there's a pretty big gap between when we'll get set five. They haven't really revealed much for set five yet, and we already have set four in English, which normally doesn't happen with the English to Japanese sets. We have Blaze Pole Monk, Retsuji, and Gather Upon Ye, uh, Ye Wandering Souls for Zorga. It's the additional drive plus order, so very, very strong for the deck, giving Zorga triple rare, <laughs> triple rare, triple drive. And we have Flare Veil Dragon, uh, Helheim Fervent Rage, and Whales Melt in the Sound of Rain, a hollow uh, rare for the pack. Normally when you get two rares, you pull a hollow rare after it. Let's see next. We have Dissolve into the Depths of Hades, O Evil Heart, and Sylvan Horn Beast Panthero for our double rare. So yeah, I said before, Panthero, and Magnolia are the only foils, I believe, for Magnolia in this set. Feels like they gave Hexa Orb Sorcerers a lot of cards. We have uh, Fleant, O Evil Heart, and Diablos Jetter Wade for our Hollow, again, for this one. We have, I'm going to pull another Triple Rare. It feels like there's been a gap between Triple Rares. We have Blaze Kick Monk, Koki, and we have, nope, another Sealed Blaze Dragon, the Darla. So the first uh, foil we pulled from these packs. This is a good one, though. I believe you do want to run four in the arms deck just because it just helps with a lot of consistency and recycle power. We have Sublimating Wish, uh, Diablos Boys Krusty, and Alright Haze Rupture for our foils. And we can get a lot of the hollow foils already. Let's see. Triple rare. Let me see if I can pull triple rare finally. We have Gear Eagle, Sudden Banks, and we have Cardinal Draco for our next double rare. So nope, we're just continuing on. How many have I pulled? I feel like I've pulled a triple rare, haven't I? Uh, yeah, one so far, the Brainwashed Swirler. And let's see, I have another grouping of packs. Just off screen, we'll open. Last pack from this group though, let's see. We have a Serene Maiden Lena, and <laughs> we have another Cardinal Draco Cool Jamid for that. So we're pulling doubles of the doubles so far, and only one triple rare from those packs so far. On to the next wave of packs. Let's see. 
And we have a Knight of Desolation, Fio Nuala. I see a triple rare. And yes, it is Chakrabarthi, True Dragon, Mahar Nirvana. Awesome. All right. So one of the triple rares I wanted to see. This card looks so amazing. I'm so happy. This great four just helps the actual power of Overdress Nirvana so much more. It was definitely one of the better grade fours we got from all the different ones in this set. We have Aurora Battle Princess, Taser Lage, and Gravidia Shurgo for the other double rare. So at least with the triple we pulled, it was one I wanted to see. Very happy with that result. Next pack. We have Fliant, Injection Angel, and Blaze Maiden Sonia for our Hollow. You can never tell if it's a common or a rare. That's why I just call them Hollow rares. I think it's just easier that way. It is pretty rare to pull compared to the normal ones. We have Fine Drink of Abolishment for Sins and Twin Great Magic Totone for the double rare. So for all the triples, yeah, only two so far from the packs. So let's see. Next one. We have Sylvan Horn Beast Alvin, and yep, nice, another grade four, Sylvan Horn Beast Emperor Magnolia Elder. So uh, the grade fours, I think, are just, I'm curious to see what the values will be, because they're definitely going to be used in the five main start decks. So people will want at least play sets, I would say, of those cards to use. Can't be put in the ride deck, so you have to make do with what you can, you know, draw on the deck. We have Ruse Wildmaster Riley. And a Retaze Rupture for our rares. And next pack. Let's see what we get. We have a Perobi and Aurora Battle Princess Suppressed Gleamer for the... It specifies Seraph in the name. That's because it'll work with either the Grade 3 or the Grade 4. And Snow, I don't believe, is in the name for the Grade 4 for the Prison deck. We have Serene Maiden Lena and Knight of Desolation, Theo Nuella. Let's see. We have Sylvan Horn Beast, Jurafina, and Sealed Blaze Spear, Adhitya, for our double rare. Yeah, they made one of the weapons a double rare. It's cool because unless you pull the SP ones, you really don't have foil versions of the ones we get from the start deck, but I believe we will be getting foil versions of a good number of cards from the start deck for arms in the next festival collection coming out. We have Desired Devil, Wazure, and another Trick Moon. I say another because I'm comparing this video to my last opening, and I did pull Trick Moon from those packs also. Let's see, can I pull the Grade 4, Virena? We have Flare Veil Dragon, and we have Heavenly Pike of Solicitation Cornvox. So this, I believe, I did not pull from. So that and uh, Nirvana might have been the triple rares I did not see. At least I don't recognize pulling that. I might have, but I don't actually recall seeing that card in my last uh, my last opening. We have Leap Mia and Aurora Fierce Princess Seraph Pure Light for the next grade four. So we've pulled Magnolia. Uh, Seraph, like I said, and Nirvana. So the ones we haven't pulled yet for the grade fours are Bruce and also Bastion. We have Sealed Blaze Gun, Chandra, and Armor Piercing Knight, Mugain. This is a blaster card, a uh, double rare blaster card. But like I said, I still haven't looked through to see if there's any Overlord cards in the set. If not, set five, because that's definitely going to be a pack that focuses on Majesty, Fan Blaster Dragon, and also, nope, oh, nice, there's Bruce. Uh, Dragonic Overlord, the end. We have Diablos, Unrivaled Bruce. All right, so that means the only one left to pull is Bastion. Can I pull all five of the great boards from these packs? We'll see, we got just a couple left. We have Sublimating Wish and Blaze Kick Monk, Kogi. So this one here, let's see what we get. We have Sylvan Horn Beast, Girafina, and Fortune Reading. It's a hollow. There were actually two rares there. Uh, this one's another hollow rare. So with those packs done, the last ones we have left the pool. So I can get some of the trash. These should be the prize packs, meaning that there should be some upped hollow ratios. Let's test the luck and see what we get from them. All right. 
Oh, there is Soul Repose Pixie Petronella. For those of you who don't know, I pulled this from my last opening as well in kind of the same position. There's a rare, a hollow rare, and then a double rare in that pack as well, in that order. A very strange insertion. I think it's almost like an exclusive for the English, or it's like an import card. Uh, different heel trigger for uh, D format. Strange, but awesome as well. I'm curious what the ratios are for those will be from a normal box also. But next pack, Oop. we have Blaze Pole Monk Retsuji, Dark Deceptive Diving for our Hollow, and we have oh nice, there's Bastion. So we did actually end up pulling all four of all five of the Grade Four main Vanguard ride targets because there's still the Virena Grade Four, which I haven't pulled yet from these packs. And with that, I probably end up pulling it now. Watch from this pack alone. Let's see, we have Reverse Coil Knight. Uh, Heavenly and Collapse Dragon, Embrace Dragon for our Hollow, and our SP is Twin Great Magic to Tone. So the card for Hexa Orb, awesome. You can see more of the art, just like with all the SPs with this one. So not bad at all. I don't think the one card though takes up an SP spot, so I should still have two more SPs to pull. Let's test that luck. Maybe I can get a Grade Four SP. We have Heaven Strike Brave Shooter. Fine Drink of Abolishment for Sins, and we have, nope, Brainwash Swirler is going to be my second SP for this pack, with three remaining. Let's see what I can get. We have the Commons, we have Rough Trample Monster, and Diablos Madonna Reese for our Hollow. Oh, I see overdress lines. That can only mean one thing. It is Virena Esperadia or Esperadia. I'm so messing up that name. Let me sit back for a second. It is Virena Esperadia for that name. I'm going to definitely master that before the next deck profile. But I'm glad I pulled it. I want to see some copies of that card. Two packs remaining. So let's see what I get. We have Leapmia. Uh, Blaze Kick Monk Koki. Is this going to be an SP? It's an SP, all right. 5,000 power. Oh, nice. I saw 5,000 power and no trigger markings, but it is Trick Moon SP. I didn't even think that this card could come in SP, but that is great. That is really, really cool. I'm, you know, going to be building the arms deck. So to have a Trick Moon that is SP just makes it my avatar for the deck altogether for sure. All right, last pack. I don't even think I have a Trickstar SP. I want the DSR, but we have Emelurate Connector. This is going to be the Orphis Triple Rare. I know it. Rough Trample Monster. And, oh no, it's Roaming Prison Dragons for Stoikea. So I didn't actually pull the Orphis Triple Rare. But all in all, I'm very happy with the results, especially the SP at the end there for Trick Moon. And I hope you all enjoyed the opening as well. Definitely look forward to the upcoming uh, week. I'm going to be opening up some boxes of this set as well, so look forward to that. Um, not sure how many yet I'll open. I am planning on getting a case of set four. Like I said, I just really do like this set, so I have high hopes for it and just, you know, gathering up all the different grade fours for my group of friends and just, you know, ones to hold on to for the upcoming decks as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Qualia out.